Welcome to live2place.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how is Raoul's law, a special case of Henry law. Before we understand Raoul's law as a special case of Henry law, we understand both the laws, then we can compare. The Raoul's law states that the partial pressure of a component in a solution is equal to its mole fraction multiplied by the vapor pressure of that component in pure state. If the vapor pressure of component in the solution is P and the mole fraction is X and the vapor pressure of that component in pure state when it is not present in the solution it in, in individual state P naught then by Raoul's law this is the expression can be given P is equal to P naught into X where P is the partial pressure of component in a solution. P naught is the vapor pressure of the component in the pure state and X is the mole fraction. Now it comes to Henry law. The law states that the partial pressure of volatile component. Volatile means the component which can evaporate very easily into gas. That's why we mention here or gas is directly proportional to mole fraction. So here P is the partial pressure of volatile component in the solution and it is directly proportional to mole fraction of the solute. So here if you compare both the formulas, then the partial pressure of the component in a solution is directly proportional to mole fraction. This is the similarity we get. The only difference is that proportionality constant is different in both the laws. In Raoul's law we have P0 as a proportionality constant in Henry Lodge we have KH as a proportionality constant. If, if there is any condition in which KH is equal to P0 then we get Raoul's law as a special case of Henry law. This is a problem given here and in this problem I will show you how you can use these formulas to calculate the number of moles of a gas in the solution. The problem says that the Henry's law constant for the solubility of N2 gas in waters at 298K is 1.0 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 atm means that Henry Lodge constant means that is KH value is given. Here we have KH value. Now the question says that mole fraction of N2 in air is 0 0.8 means here we have mole fraction of N2 gas. This is the value we get. Now question asked to calculate the number of moles of N2 from air dissolved in 10 moles of water at the same temperatures and, eight, and 5 atm pressure is also given there. We have to calculate the number of moles of N2. KH value is given that is Henry's law constant. We can apply this formula then the set of which we get PN2 since we are going to calculate for the gas nitrogen gas. Here we have PN2 and KH into x and here we have n2 now the set of which we get x n2 x n2 is equal to p n2 upon ks and here if we have p n2 that is the vapor pressure of the component in the solution and according to raoul's law here we have uh, it is equal to the vapor pressure of the component in in pure state p naught into the mole fraction of the solute upon ks now we can plug in the value p naught is 5 atm atm multiplied by mole fraction of uh, gas 0 0.8 upon ks value is given here 1.0 1.0 multiplied by 10 to power 5 atm and so atm atm will cancel out and the value which we get here you can do the calculation 5 8 of 40 here we get 4.0 and so upon 1.0 multiplied by 10 to power, oh no, sorry, 10 to power 5. And so we can divide these values. Here we get 4.0 multiplied by, and so it is positive exponent. When it goes up, it becomes negative. This is the value we get. This is the mole fraction, N2. Now the question says that calculate the number of moles of N2 in the air in 10 moles of water. Means here mole fraction of solute is given N2. N2 is a solute means here moles of solute upon moles of solvent because here you can see that the mole uh, moles of uh, solute is taken negligible you know in comparison to the moles of solvent and as a result here we get the moles of N2 
moles of N2 and say here we have moles of water, water that is a solvent, here we have moles is equal to 4.0 multiplied by 10 to powers minus 5. We can do the cross multiplication and the, it gives us the moles of N2, the moles of N2 is equal to, we can multiply the value which we get 4.0 multiplied by 10 to powers minus 4 and some moles. These are the moles of nitrogen gas present in 10 moles of water when it is dissolved in air. You can see that how I applied Henry's law P is equal to KH into X and I calculated the number of moles of gas present in 10 moles of water in the solution. Thank you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. For more updates on IIT JE or NEET exams, please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.